So tonight, we're going to open up our first HelloFresh box. I just got it on Monday. I took it out of the fridge just so I could open up with you guys tonight. Um, yeah, I'm using a knife, but, you know, you don't have to use a knife. You could use your hands. I'm just doing this to make it easy for me um, as I'm going to be going through this uh, with you guys. And we're not going to cook tonight. All, all we're going to do tonight is, is quite frankly, just, just show you what's in the box. Uh, we'll talk about what we're going to cook. We'll probably try to cook some stuff maybe this weekend. Um, it's going to really depend on how things go. Oh, look at there. All kinds of fun. And this is why I use a knife, folks. This is exactly why I use a knife. And I'm still having issues. Now, the good news is, even though I cut down the middle right then, just like you see me do, it's not that big of a deal. All right. So here comes the goodies. Now, I know you can't see this that well because i got camera issues. Uh, I promise we'll work on that. But I'll show all this stuff in just a moment as I get everything taken out of the box. And say they make their own little, this is horrible, but they make their own little um, cooler, basically, is what they do. All these good things. And then there's some stuff, and then that's it. Okay. So, what did we get? We got a pretty simple case. A little bit of ground beef. A little bit of chicken. We all like chicken. We like chicken? I like chicken. And so our first dish is sheet pan Dijon onion crunch chicken. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well or not. Uh, but that's what's on the bag. So everything I need to make that's in that bag. Now, because I want to show you what's in there, I'm going to do that in just a moment. The next one is a Southwest beef cavapatini. I'm certain I said that wrong, and some of my Italian friends are going to whip me for that. But that's exactly what that is right there. Again, everything you need to make that bag, everything you need to make it's right here in this bag. So that's your beef and everything you need for it to go with it, all right? So you, how are you going to make this stuff? What, what, what is this going to look like when you're done? That's the neat part about this whole thing. They give you two things. Well, <laughs> a couple things. They give you a, a, a menu card, what it should look like. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can see that. That's what it's going to look like at the end. And then they'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to spend three hours in the kitchen. This is about a 25-minute meal, guys. So um, from start to finish, 25 minutes, easy cleanup. And, again, I'll show you all of that this weekend. Stick around. You, won't, you don't want to miss it. All right? Uh, so the next one is this Southwest pasta dish, I'll call it, because I'm not going to mess up the name again. But again, it tells me what it should look like when I'm done. But then there's step-by-step -step instructions from the very beginning to the very ending. Now, what you'll notice as we get through this process on the weekend, I I'm a bit of a nutcase, as my wife says, and I like to cut everything up ahead of time. So uh, mise en place, as they will say on TV, uh, no, I'm not a chef, so don't try to pick me out on that, okay? <laughs> but uh, certainly it's one of those things that uh, you, you'll see. Um, I'll have my little bowls, and I'll have my stuff, and I'll have my pre-stuff already done so that when we're ready to stick it in the oven, it's going to take about five minutes. Uh, when we're ready to put this into the pot on the pan, we'll be in and out in 10, 15 minutes. These are just two meals for two people. So four meals total, we spend about 40 bucks. And I don't know about you. But, uh, you know, I use Uber Eats. How many of you use Uber Eats? Uh, by the time I get the food that I want for Uber Eats, it goes anywhere between 60 and 100 bucks between me and the wife. And, and no, I'm not ordering from McDonald's, <laughs> so don't ask. I don't like McDonald's. <laughs> um, but, but this is a quick way for you to manage what kind of food you're going to have. Uh, identify if you want it to be a quick night or maybe a more, a more complex night. Maybe you're trying to get a little spicy and figure out to do more things in the kitchen. This is another way to do that. Or maybe, you know, you want to buy those pre-made meals. They have those. You can get those too. Um, I've got about five more that I'm going to do that I'll show you about what those are. Now, along the way, let's just take a peek for a minute. And we're going to look at this um, steam pan Dijon chicken. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to make this really easy. I'm going to lay it all out. And then I'm going to put it back in the bag because, again, I, I want this to be simple for me. So what do we have? I got my chicken. This is going to turn into garlic bread, folks. No, this ain't your grandma's garlic bread, I promise. 
but it'll, it'll do. It'll do in a pinch. I got some green beans. I got some Dijon mustard. I got some Monterey Jack cheese. And then we all love those fried onions, right? That's really what this is. That's it. And in about 15, 20 minutes, this will all be put together. We're done. And the cleanup for this is going to be a cinch because it's really I'm baking it all in the oven. So, yeah, I'm going to use an oven sheet pan, but then I'm going to use that famous um, tin foil <laughs> or aluminum foil, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. That's what I'll use. And literally, the cleanup for that when I'm done, in the trash. And, you know, I'm not going to talk about the paper plates or whatever plates that me and my wife might use because maybe we don't want to fire up the dishwasher. So that's the chicken. Um, again, I'm going to leave the chicken out by itself. Now, you'll notice they also give you this garlic stuff. Um, and all it is is garlic powder. You can get garlic powder for 79 cents at the grocery store. You can use their little packs. They'll give it to you. They'll give you everything. The only thing they don't give you, salt, pepper, butter if you need it, um, or uh, the oil. So those are the main things that they don't give you. They give you everything else. Again, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the bag except for the chicken. Now, again, because I'm going to cook this chicken in about two days, this chicken's going to go back in the fridge on a plate. Because why? I'm weird. Um, so that, that's our chicken dish. The one that I'm really looking forward to is this beef dish, guys. Again, I'm not going to try to say the pasta type because I'll mess it up. For those of you who want to just uh, call me out on it, by all means, please feel free to do so. Won't hurt films a bit. Again, lots of goodies that's in this bag. I'm going to cut it all up. So there we go. In this bag, we've got our pasta. We've got some um, beet red pepper crema. That looks good. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I've got diced tomatoes. Look at there. That looks pretty good. And then some Mexican blend. Oh, I love these. Poblano peppers. Uh, these are really great, folks. And, and here's the cool part. Now, once you get this and you make it, um, you will be able to make this again and again without even having to get the stuff from them if you don't want to. But this is a convenient way. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You don't have to hope they got it in stock. They send it straight to you. Again, we've got some uh, hot sauce. I'm probably not going to put that in here. You can change these up however you want. Now, if you want to make it your way, the first time, great. Uh, the first time I usually make these dishes, I don't make it my way, but because I know what I like and don't like, <laughs> I'm probably not going to put the hot sauce in there. This looks like to be some type of Southwest spice, and it is. And then we've got um, beef, I guess beef broth. I'm assuming this is beef broth. It looks like beef broth. I'll know more when we actually do it that night. And then our little onions, green onions. Now, remember, guys, when you when you get these produce items, you need to wash them. So even though they're coming with you, you want to wash the, uh, the, the produce. Um, you'll also want to look for anything that's bad on the produce to make sure that um, that's being done the right way. All right? So, again, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the um, Southwest pasta dish. And all of your ingredients are listed uh, right there on the side. So remember that picture that we were talking about earlier. You got the picture. You got the ingredients. So it'll tell you all the ingredients you need. So even the ones you don't have, salt, pepper, oil, right? It'll tell you how much. And again, on the back, you got step-by-step -step instructions. Um, you can make these, again, like I said, as easy or as difficult as you want. I think our next set of dishes um, coming in next week, and I'll, I'll show you these as well, it's going to be um, steak and potatoes. Why? Because I like steak and potatoes. And um, empanadas. You like empanadas? I, I, I like empanadas too. So those are things that we'll do uh, as we get into the next couple of weeks. Yes, this is not gaming. I'm aware. But people got to eat. I mean, look at me. I'm not the skinniest guy in the room. Anyway, until we get to next time, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chat again soon.